I think we have to be realistic that it's a, it's a possibility. We're seeing very little flexibility from the European Union in the negotiations. The financial requests they're making of Britain, um, they seem to be stubbornly attached to that. And I don't think it's acceptable for a British Prime Minister to give anything like the kind of money that they're asking. So I think it's essential that we aren't backed into a corner um, at the end of this negotiations where we have to accept whatever we are offered by Brussels. And so a no deal is very undesirable. Let's absolutely be, be clear. But unless the European Union thinks we are ready for it, I think they could screw us in the final moments and days of those talks. So you agree with the Chancellor, Philip Hammond, that no deal would be very, very bad. And yesterday, Nadim Zahawi, Tory MP, said there are no advantages to no deal. You agree with that rhetoric? I, I think it's very difficult um, and very disappointing and I don't think it will come to that because the consequences for Europe means that they will get no financial um, settlement from Britain. It means that there will be tariffs on European exporters and there will be some difficulties at port. So Europe doesn't want it either but we must be prepared for it and I think Theresa May should be putting a high-level cabinet minister with proper resources in charge of preparations for this outcome. So you would like to see more time and more money invested in it? I think if Britain looks like it is ready for a no deal and beginning to accommodate itself to it, I think the European Union will be forced to be more reasonable in the talks. The sort of slightly perverse thing is the more Britain is ready for no deal, the less likely it is. Because I think Europe will realise they haven't got us over a barrel, which they would have if we've made no serious preparations. Do you